Red Hat Satellite 6.1 provides new features in the area of errata management. The features included in Red Hat Satellite 6.1 makes it easy to address critical security as well as bug fix management in an easy, quick, and concise manner. The new capabilities included in Satellite 6.1 make it easier to address those critical zero-day vulnerabilities such as heart bleed, shell shock, and ghosts. We also make it easy to report on errata required by systems prior to promoting it and releasing it into your environment. Lastly, we provide detailed email reporting on errata as it is promoted throughout its life cycle. Upon logging into Red Hat Satellite 6.1, we will see the new menu item for errata management. It is under the content menu, it's called errata. When we click on the errata menu, we get a view of all the errata that have been synchronized to the satellite server from the Red Hat Constant Delivery Network, as well as YUM repositories that pro provide errata metadata. As you can see here, we have a listing of errata and the content hosts that are, they apply to. We differentiate between our errata with two statuses in Satellite 6.1. We have an applicable status, which is the RPMs provided in this errata apply to systems in my environment. That is, we know that the system needs them. Installable describes an errata that is available in the content view and environment that the system is subscribed to. That is, if I run yum update, these RPMs will be updated on that system. If we take a look at any one of these advisories, let's say for instance, this Shadow Utils bug fix update, we can get more information about it. We get details about the errata itself, such as the CVEs that are associated, if there are any, as well as when was it last issued, and more uh, details around the bugs that the errata actually addresses. If we select the content host tab, we get a view of the host in our environment that this errata actually applies to. I can then further show this list to show the systems that we can actually install the errata on at this particular moment. Next, if we wanted to address this errata and just this one specific errata, let's say it was a security vulnerability such as a uh, heart bleed or shell shock, or actually just a bug that uh, a system in our environment is dealing with, we can select that host and hit the Apply to Host tab. After this, you will note that Satellite actually reports to us that this particular errata has not been promoted yet into our environment, the development environment in which this system resides in. Thus, it gives us the ability to release this one errata and only this one errata immediately. Optionally, I have the ability to apply the errata immediately after publishing it. To continue, we will select this Confirm button. Next, we can see the state of this task, this incremental update, as it is being pushed out into our development environment and being published so that our systems that are in development have access to it. Now that the incremental update is complete, we can see which content view was updated, its new version number, which is 6.3, as well as the errata and packages that were added to that content view. If we head over to the Content tab and view our content views, we will also see this information shown on our pages with our content views. As we can see, we have the various versions of our content views that have been promoted through our various lifecycle environments, as well as the minor revisions that we've created due to the incremental updated process which I've used that in three instances, which created a 6.1 version, a 6.2 version, and a 6.3 version. Also included in Satellite 6.1 is the ability to set up email notifications for a group of systems or for a user. So if I look at the a user that is created on my satellite instance, I can turn that a, the user into a mail-enabled user and subscribe to a number of reports. I can do this by setting the user's mail preferences and then subscribing to a number of reports that the satellite server can send. Things such as our puppet error state, but more related to errata, 
promotions and synchronization status, as well as a host daily advisory. I can make these changes to a user and then select the submit button. As an example report, we can take a look at a promotion report from, uh, from Red Hat Satellite when a content view was promoted into development. So instead of getting errata notifications when errata are synchronized to the satellite and that really being the only manner of uh, receiving errata updates, we can also get them when errata are promoted into various environments. So in this example, a content view was promoted into our development environment. And upon completion of that promotion, Satellite sent out an email describing the errata that are now installable on the systems that are in that environment. Another example of a report is the Satellite Host Advisory. So we can get a report from Satellite in email format. This is an HTML email, but we also send uh, text emails as well. The host advisory shows us, based upon the hosts in an organization, these are the errata that are both installable and applicable. These are live links, so we can click them from the email and actually pull up the node in question to take a look at the errata that are applicable to that host. So in this example, I can see that this host has two new errata that are installable based upon the last promotion of the content view it is subscribed to into the, the development environment. Lastly, if I wanted to install either of these errata, I could very easily select the errata and hit the Apply Selected button, just like I would do any other errata that is installed on the satellite. We'll hit the Apply button. And now the errata will be applied using the normal workflow within Red Hat Satellite.